Hi, and welcome to my money guide for RimWorld Royalty. I'm Iken, and this video is dedicated to show you how to earn money in RimWorld. Um, it's going to be around all the vanilla-based content, so there's no modded content or whatever, and it's around what kind of options you have to earn money and how it works generally, so let's get started. First off, to earn money, you need some sort of trade partner. Ideally, you want some uh, colonies in your vicinity, which are giving you options for trade. Um, even hostile factions, if they're not the red ones, can be befriended once you um, get some um, if you, once you get the goodwill towards uh, zero. This can be done with gifts or quests. So that's the basics. You need to send a caravan over there or wait until a caravan from their um, faction comes to you. That only happens if they're friends with you. And you can also order one from your comms console and you can sell stuff via the comms console and orbital trade beacons. So if you don't have any friends, you can just uh, put up the comms console somewhere like here, um, using here dev mode and god mode for um, tutorials, for the sake of the tutorial, and uh, you then need those orbital trade beacons to um, drop them down wherever you want to have things for trade. So um, the orbital trade beacons work like this. Um, you see, they have oops, um, they have this uh, kind of aura around them, and everything inside that aura is considered to be for sale. So you gotta put up a few of those if you wanna trade. But what can, how to trade and what to trade, that's always a pretty important question. So first off, you can always check out what they will buy in this list here. So it's clearly visible, they always buy a lot of uh, different things, but not all the things. So if you're ever um, insecure, just look it up. So I'm going to talk about the ways on the map that you can go for. So let's get started. I'm going to talk about the um, agriculture products first because I feel I feel like that. So food itself is not the best product to sell. It's always better to refine it some uh, somehow, but sadly you can't sell those meals. You would be able to sell um, packaged survival meals that could go um, into a trading um, option. But for me personally, if I got uh, lots and lots of food I don't want to use, I go for a biofuel refinery and turn that stuff into camp fuel. Cause that's to me personally, one of the easiest ways of getting rid of huge amounts of food where you don't know where to go with them. So the biofuel refinery gives you the option to give uh, to make camp fuel from organics and then you can sell off that stuff. Camp fuel is an awesome trades good, just uh, store it carefully, it's highly explosive. And apart from that, food offers you um, not too many um, trading options. You can turn it into pemmican with um, the combination of other foodstuffs. Pemmican is a pretty good trade material. If we look it up here, um, people buy it. And the good stuff about pemmican is it is not only a trade good, your people can live off of it. So it has a double use, something I really like. Um, apart from that, the agricultural products offer you drugs. Drugs can be made out of smoke leaf plants and psychoid plants. Smoke leaf can be processed um, directly, it doesn't need any extra research. For the psychoid plants, you need either the psychoid brewing to turn it into tea, or the drug production technology alongside with psychic refining to turn that stuff into some, some sort of drug. All these other um, products here, need also neutramines. Therefore, this is the only real um, pure psychoid leaf refining process and drugs bring you a lot of money. There's only one big downside to that. You have to be aware of the fact that people can go into psychoid binges when you're having uh, lots of psychoid products available. Especially dangerous with when you're having um, people with chemical fascinations or such. So um, this is a little bit more dangerous. If you want it less dangerous and still drugs, you can go for beer brewing. You just need the brewery and the fermenting barrels and set up the production facility like that. I'm going to uh, illustrate it real quick because it's quite easily shown. Um, you're going to need the um, brewery, bang, 
and at the brewery you're producing wort. This stuff come, um, will be put into the fermenting barrels and then it'll just store for a while. One thing is quite important though, those fermenting barrels uh, spoil when their temperature drops below this or above this. So make sure if you want to go for um, a brewery, always give it um, go into the extra costs, give in and turn tune in a heater and a cooler to make sure this room never um, goes into a wrong temperature. And um, yeah, the only downside about beer, the animals like to drink it and get hammered. You need to assign zones properly. And um, there's, there's one last thing um, to talk about in the agricultural department, and that's cotton, which is, a, is, as a matter of fact, the best one to talk about last. Or, well, no, there's one thing in between heel root. Theoretically, you can trade with heel root. And uh, just like um, the other foodstuffs, they have a double value. Heel root is only growable, though, um, if you're having a high enough growing skill, and they take a while. But pretty good trading material too. Cotton and its uh, advanced cousin Devil Strand are materials which are raw and worth not too much, but you can turn them into fine clothing at the tailor bench. The tailor bench is the place where you turn leather and cloth and Devil Strand to pure money. Which brings me to the next department of earning money, and that's just killing stuff earning its leathers and turning it into clothing. This is a brilliant way to earn money because it's a pretty nice cycle. You earn food and the leftover products can be turned into something even more valuable. Try to avoid to sell hides directly and raw if you have the plan to earn money with that because every refined piece of uh, material is always worth more than the raw material especially if you're able to uh, pull off higher qualities the um, value of the items raises rises tremendously so this is another good option of earning money and last but not least um, among the crafting items there's not really much more to say. Um, I think I'm. I just want to check if I don't jump too hastily into the next into the next uh, department. So um, furniture. If you really want to do it, you can also trade furniture. But minified furniture is heavy, so you would need a a flotilla of packing animals to get that done. But theoretically, no problem. You can you can turn that stuff into money too. Yeah just realized that this would be a good thing. A bad thing for trading though are weapons, because the base game downscales the uh, monetary value of weapons in the trade um, tremendously. So while my assault rifle here is worth 480 bucks, it would be worth way less if I start selling it. The game does that to avoid the fact, um, the avoid that the raiders are spawning too much money in form of equipment and therefore weapons are worth not too much ever. If you want to change that there are mods but apart from that crafting weapons and such is never a good uh, idea to earn money. Apart from that crafting weapons would always cost you steel and steel is one of the bottlenecks of the game. It's a limited resource in a way but I'd rather not sell steel. And you know just all I want to say. So last but not least there's the art department. Whoops. Art is a wonderful way to turn um, crap into valuable stuff. I can't put it into different words um, but uh, let's, let's drop one somewhere. Just want to check out if I had one but no this place has no art bench. Okay so the art bench is giving you a really really nice uh, way of earning money. And I'm going to put up a drug lab just uh, for the sake of uh, showing it off once. So at the art bench you can do sculptures. Sculptures can be made out of valuable materials but also out of stone blocks whose value is pretty low. And with stone or even better wood if your biome is giving you wood you can basically turn the most generic materials into pure money. Art has only one downside and that's uh, a pretty heavy time investment into the products. I strongly recommend the usage of tool cabinets 
and uh, a good workshop area with good lighting, good temperature to uh, make sure your artist is working at an optimal pace because um, that's really something. Also, one thing is worth mentioning, um, the game does scale the um, attacks of the enemies. In the intensity of the enemy attack is uh, also scaling with the um, wealth in your colony, but also with the beauty of your colony. Kind of like the accumulated sum of beauty in your colony does something in terms of how many uh, raiders will attack you. Um, the game explains that by uh, the logic of if there are lots of treasures somewhere, there's sure they're gonna go there and grab them. And legendary art pieces of art are something which attracts enemies. So if you're doing your business with art, um, long story short, sell that stuff often. Don't stockpile huge amounts, because um, once you stockpile two huge amounts of art, the side effect gets noticeable. But really, I'm talking about hundreds of statues. <laughs> So don't worry too much about that. It's uh, I'm not sure how to calculate that rating, uh, but if you're going too crazily, it will amp up the intensity of enemy, enemy attacks. And um, last but not least, there's also worth mentioning um, clothing about the trading itself, because um, the trading prices are influenced by the person's social skill, but also um, by the clothing the, per the people wear. Like uh, if we look at a bowler hat, they um, give this social impact bonus. So if you want to really earn money, ideally you pick up your person with the highest social skill and give him all the gear you can with a high social impact rating. And that's that. So uh, I think I summed up everything I wanted to say about trade and how to earn money in RimWorld. The rest is up to you. There are um, other materials that are that I didn't mention like jade or gold. These are of course just more valuable things. I think with those basics I was talking about here you will be able to uh, earn money with a thrumble fur and with a light leather and with a slate block and with a gold ore. Nevertheless I thank you for watching. I hope I was able to uh, give you some ideas or at least show you that your ideas were good to begin with. And uh, feel free to drop me a comment down below. I'm eager to hear new ideas because I'm pretty sure I didn't cover them up all. And um, yeah, I mean, I didn't talk about animal breeding, but I, well, okay, I'm going to talk about animal breeding um, one last moment. Animal breeding is quickly explained. You go for a male and a female, they make babies and you can sell those babies. Also, you can sell animals you have tamed. That's pretty nifty too. Yeah, I totally forgot about those shame on me but that's really the last thing i want to say about uh earning money always if you want to sell animals though check out if the um place over there is buying those creatures otherwise you'll be ending up with 80 rats and nobody wants to buy them all right that's that leave a like on that video if it helped you and leave a subscription if you want to see more of that i'd be super happy if you do just like i said drop me a comment if there's anything you want to add and I hope we're going to see each other soon. Bye-bye.